Every time I feature a foaming soap dispenser, people ask, what would happen if you put milk or cream through it? And you know what? I think that would be interesting to try. So I've got double cream, which is whipping cream in other countries, uh, whole milk. I've got elm leaf, which is kind of fake cream. It's a mix of uh, buttermilk and oils and is a long life. It's The reason I got this is because that's the only uh, single cream I could get locally. I think I didn't try the co-op. Anyway, before we do this experiment, I'm going to show you this thing operating. It's basically a little pump with multiple diaphragms inside, and it takes in air through this port. It takes in a liquid through this port, and it combines them together and pushes them through meshes to actually make foam. So I'm going to use disinfectant to start off with, then I'll wash it out, and I'm going to put it in like this, and when I turn it on, it uh, produces a thick, creamy foam. Lovely. So I'm going to give this a rinse out now, and then we can continue with the cream experiments. One moment, please. OK, it has been purged with water. So let's start with the milk. I'll give the milk a quick shake. Open it up, stick the dip tube in, and we'll see what comes out. Right. OK. Uh, um, I don't think that's particularly... It's not really frothy, is it? It's basically just milk with bubbles floating on it, right? OK, I'll just purge this, and we'll go on to the next subject. OK, now it seems sensible to start moving up from what I think is the runniest liquids first. So I shall get a screwdriver and just make a little hole in the top of this container. Like that. And we'll stick the dip tube into the single cream or the single cream emulant, and we'll give this a go and see what happens. Now, has that actually moussed, or is that just its normal texture? Hold on, I'll uh, just wipe this down. I'll just actually squirt some more out just to purge it. Okay, and I'll wipe it. Uh, and then we'll pour some of the actual... the cream out next just to see has it made much of a difference no that's just as viscous okay right here next we're moving on to the elmley double and i'll just uh, clean this off first okay next up is the elmley double again this is just a mixture of vegetable oil and uh whey milk stuff milk whey uh, so let's try this out It's not really frothy. OK, so I'll just uh, drain this out a little bit. Uh, wipe it. Pour out some of the, the cream next to that. I mean, it looks bubbly -er. Hold on, I'm just going to try licking it. Mm -hmm. Hold on, let me try a bit more of this stuff. There is a slight foam in this tip, but nothing major. OK, now on to the main contender, which is the real double cream. So I'll just wash this off and we can do the next experiment. OK, this is full proper double cream or whipping cream. Ugh, screwdriver's getting a bit creamy. And I shall dip the tube into this. Is this going to give the best result? I think it's struggling to even pull that up. I don't think it's capable of uh, really getting much cream out of that. No, it's it's not. It's not managing to whip the cream up. It's just stopped dead. Excellent. Right. Uh, what if I take the tube out of that? No, it's gummed up the pump. Excellent. Right. Well, that's a result. Not the result we wanted of foamy cream. Um, hold on. Oh. Nope, that has not been moosed up in any way whatsoever. OK, so let's purge the pump if we can, and then we'll open it up and see, once I've tried cleaning it, how much of the cream is left inside. One moment, please. 
So it does turn out that double cream was the main event, but for all the wrong reasons. So before I take this apart, I'm going to draw a line. And uh, then start taking to bits. The reason for the line is because everything usually has to line in a particular way. So there are three screws holding this together. The actual mousser bit. Oh, and a weird screwdriver bit, which isn't really totally working with this screwdriver. Um, this bit here has multiple meshes in it. That's where it may have jammed if it's not the diaphragms themselves. But let's put these screws out and take a look. These are very cheap pumps. It's a shame it doesn't work, but having said that, if it did work, uh, Starbucks would probably have had these in just about every coffee shop. Pumping out fresh cream. The local uh, Tesco's, it's got one of those automated Costa coffee machines. It's got a fridge in the bottom with large quantities of milk. It makes very good coffee. The baristas won't like that. They've kind of been replaced by automation. So... Has it got down to the bottom? That's just grease. Okay. So we'll pop the screws over there. This is the little wobble plate that the motor drives. The motor has an eccentric uh, cam on it that's set off to one side of the main shaft, and that wobbles these little rubber diaphragms. So if I can get this apart, the I think the main blockage here it is the... The diaphragm looks as though it's blocked, unless it's actually gone right into the the mousser. Because if it's blocked the mousser, this thing is probably glued together at this point. This thing is glued together at this point. But there's little one-way valves here. Um, there's two large diaphragms for the air, and there's a smaller diaphragm for the water. You can see the large diaphragms here. In fact, you can actually see them pumping if I go like this. It's not a lot of movement, but it's enough to actually do it. And it's got the uh, valves in here that it pulls the liquid in, then pushes it out through a common port in the centre. And then it goes through this moosing device, and that looks as though it may be where this has jammed up on a suck it. Mm. Has that done anything? Not really. So, um... I can't really tell you if this would be a hygienic thing to do if it had worked. I'm not sure how easy it would have been to clean this. But I had hoped that if it did have the desired effect, I'd have been able to then try and purge it through with cleaner and then just open it up and see if there were residues of the cream left, which uh, I think uh, it has been congealing in here, so it's probably blocked everything up. It has. It's kind of like it's got lumps. Maybe it sucked lumps up. But either way... It, it didn't have the desired effect. So there we have the answer. Will soap foaming pumps also foam cream for making lattes? And sadly, the answer to that is no, which is a shame because it would have been fun if it had worked. But um, we can always try different approaches in the future and see what happens.